Oh, okay. That's here. Friends, I hope. You killed not only Cazador, but also his wretched creations. I expected less. So I can see from all your heavily armed friends. You didn't think I could resist completing the ritual, did well, you? Well, he couldn't. I admit, I had my doubts. But where are our children? What of their fate? Deception. Persuasion. Killing children makes for a strange kind of mercy. Although, given what they'd become. Believe me when I say it was for the best. The pain from the hunger alone. There's nothing like it. Perhaps there was something to that. A kindness I would not have credited you with. Well, that's backhanded as compliments come. Though I'll take it if it means you're done trying to kill me. I never dreamt a spawn could find redemption. But, yes. You will never be hunted again. As for you, you have my people's thanks. I know you face trials ahead. We will stand with you as best we can. Until then, go in peace. And thank you. Okay. That was fun. Just like the door to the ballroom upstairs, this door features no keyhole. It does have an indentation for a signet ring. The ring slots perfectly into place, and the door opens, assailing you with pungent, musty air. Okay, we, we can get away with this, this. And Tolna's office is, uh, yeah, it's it's the library building we were looking. Some clues. Friendly face at last. Are you going to the party as well? No. I don't know if I should say. It's very exclusive. Oh, go on then, I'll tell you. It's an underground party at a place called the Palace. My date's supposed to meet me here, but there's no sign of him. You haven't seen him, have you? 
pale, skinny, <laughs> extremely piercing eyes. Yeah, not Looks going a bit to like get your you. friend here. <laughs> oh dear. I assure you, it's not. It's funny. He was ever so keen for me to come. He didn't seem the type to cancel. Your date was a vampire. A vampire. No, he wasn't. Was he? But then, why am I still here? He could have had me by the neck any time he liked. Mother, may I? I'm positively starved. Eh. You think something's happened to him? <laughs> you have no idea. You know what? I might give this party a miss. Plenty more fish in the Chionthar, as they say. Yep. If you see him, don't tell him I was here. Just tell him I... Um... I wasn't ready to be in a relationship. I'm sure he'll understand. Ah! Oh, barge. <laughs> oh, that works out. Why doesn't it work? Because somebody else needs to pull the lever at the other end. Right, and yeah, this lever, maybe. Prince's chains finally be broken. Then I will wait here until you have. The chains that bind Orpheus also bind the whole of the Githyanki people. The remaining honor guard serve as my eyes and ears. Vlakith's forces hunt you and the prism. My allies have slayed more than you know, so that you might travel freely. As for those that break through, you've proven more than capable of bleeding them yourself. Here. Uh, 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 uh. Hold very still, Nicola. Uh, Crank's aim is much improved, but uh, still be something up to chance. Yes, sir. We'll help him, Dale. All right, Crank. Ready? Aim. Mm. We have a visitor. That is. McClaw, you may go. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> I see no night song. 
Surely you wouldn't have entered my tower without the night song in hand? Surely you wouldn't have wasted my time? And you must have an answer to my request. If you want to keep your head, of course. <laughs> the night song. Do you have it or not? Bring her to you, even if I want to. <laughs> uh, explain yourself. Deception. One. Hey, let's use inspiration. You left her there? Let go retrieve her, you imbecile! Or it will cost you a world of riches so vast you cannot even comprehend the loss. He wouldn't probably like now. that. That we killed her. <laughs> Before I lose my temper. Okay. So let's let's, let's not misclick any portals anymore. Right. What now? in your absence. You're still trespassing. Okay, really close. Apparently our thief needs to deal with this. No, no other choice. Time to extract your tempus and goddess of strategy. The Red Knight was a paladin most devout. She tells the armies of the world, students and teacher. She elevated by tempus. Well, well. Someone's a treasure trove of wicked spells. Sweet spell. Psychic resistance, supreme healing. Yes, please, further healing. Again, beast. These boots have seen everything. What's this? Sea liver. Why I didn't pick it up? 
before. Okay, I'm, I'm applied. Watch how you go. There's a trap. Okay. Don't. Okay, that wasn't a good idea. My knees are starting to wake. This really is a knife or two. Time to kill. This is getting great. Oh, no, two cars. Lock here by the path to the Casas vault. Okay, we can we can jump, probably. Right. Out of sight, out of mind. Don't waste a step. Okay, it's open. Here we are, Clave, Kratex, Recon Halbert. I just be warned. It is a great paradox among our kind who so value the art of learning. The closer the wizard creeps to the line of divine, the closer oblivion creeps with him. That myself an equal, equal a mistra. And it was the plan to make myself her equal. Gold chalice. Scroll, scroll of the D throne. Very rare. That's crazy amount of damage. The annals of Carsus. The preamble to a civilization's downfall, committed to parchment by the very hand that wrought its destruction. The truth of the crown, I hope. All that stands between us and enlightenment is the turn of a page. Let's trust him. This isn't what I expected. This is much more. The crown of Casas. And this, this is no mere journal. It contains Casas's original plans for the crown's construction. His designs for godhood. Okay. Not from scratch. Unless you happen to have several pounds of the purest netherese metals in that pack of yours. Don't worry. I'm not asking you to surrender anything else on my account. What's called for here is something altogether different. The book states that the crown and nether stones were originally one construct, seemingly sundered at the moment of Carsus's downfall. If we can collect the crown setting and the three nether stones, and with the correct invocation of certain spells and gestures detailed in these notes, I think I could reforge it. Well, there'd be risk in such an endeavor, but only proportionate to the reward. Just think of it. The power of the gods in mortal hands at last would be free of doctrine and dogma, confined only by the limits of our imaginations. We must discuss this further, but quietly, privately. Find me later, and I will show you something truly divine. I will show you what a crown like this could mean for both of us. 
I can hardly wait. Not sinister at all. to be here. You're about to be ejected. Okay, then remove curse. Level three three spell slot. So let's let's go outside. <laughs> oh no. Elminster. Oh no. Oh, hello, my boy. No, don't mind me. I'm just enjoying a lung full of bull derrier now. <laughs> There's a distinctive aroma, though perhaps not one worthy of bottling. Tell me, what curiosities have you and your companions discovered within the walls of this esteemed emporium? So, you have learned the truth of the enemy we face. The very tool with which its eponymous creator unmade magic itself. Perhaps now you understand what is at stake here, my boy. Though what Mr. asked of you was extreme, it was not without merit, nor demanded lightly. What are you saying? Or rather, what are you not saying? Is, is there an option Mr. here? Mr. knows you defied her, Gale. Well, of course she knows. She's Mistra. She bids you come to her holy shrine in the Stormshore Tabernacle. There, she will grant you an audience at last. I see remaining optimistic is my duty, hmm. especially when I'm not the one being asked to do the seemingly impossible. Trust in yourself. Trust in the weave. If you are willing, trust in Mistra. There is a conclusion yet to be written in this sorry tale, Gale of Waterdeep. And yours is the quill that will write it. Hmm. Interesting. I've got a long road ahead. So all it took to get Mistress' attention was to learn how to reforge an artifact that once destroyed her. Mm, it's obvious. Yeah. When you stop to think about it. Kind of. Well, I doubt it's an apology for asking me to die on her behalf. Whatever it is, if it's important enough to send Elminster, you can be damn sure she's serious. This is a conversation that's long overdue on both sides. I owe it to her to hear her out. Come what may afterwards. <laughs> Very well. But it does not serve us to tarry when a summons from the heavens is waiting. Point. Okay, let's go to the camp. So, okay, so I suppose there's probably another option here than just, yeah. That's strange. Knowing I'll never hear Cazador's voice again. Knowing it'll never command me to bow against my will. I'm free from him. Forever. Invigorating. Terrifying. All of the above. 
I'm still trying to understand it, really. I came so close to losing everything back there. To losing myself. Back at the ritual, all I could see was the power on offer and the safety it promised. I was so blinded by it. <laughs> Just as Casador was. But you saw something in me. Someone else I could be. Someone who could break the cycle of power and terror that started <laughs> centuries ago. You saved me back there. I may not have appreciated it at the time, but I do now. Thank you. <laughs> so am I. As fun as all that power would have been, this feels more... me. When I look at my future, anything and everything feels possible now. You saved me from myself and let me walk a new path where I can be free. Truly, honestly, free. This is a gift, you know. Thank you. I won't forget it. My time is yours. What do you need? I'll be there tomorrow. As will you, I hope. I'd rather not face this alone. It, to, tomorrow. Someone wishes to speak with me. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Something on your mind? You know exactly what's on my mind. Why only the truth? That you bear the blame for the Duke's untimely demise? Such a loyal servant of the city, so eager to hear of your exploits. Tell me, darling, how is she? What a relief. It would be a shame if she'd struck down the one and only blade. Alas, she misses the fallen duke. Someone will need to step up in his absence. A man with the spirit of a dragon. His only son, perhaps. The Absolutists worked a number on me at Moonrise. And you're the best hope I've got at payback. No one crosses the Hell's children without getting scorched. I didn't. If you must know, I was scouting the cultists on behalf of Zariel. But those cursed shadows were thick enough to fell even a half-fiend. I woke in that damned pod. It kept my body sealed and my most powerful magic silenced. But a brave, kind, benevolent soul set me free. Gallantry isn't dead, after all. The Nine Hells of Beator. Each its own domain, each with its own archdevil to rule it. I call the first hell my home. Avernus, my mistress Zariel's realm. A torrid battle ah, split may by the bloody waters <laughs> nice. of the Styx. I, I totally didn't, totally didn't, How I totally didn't it. see it. The delicious oh. agony of <laughs> yep. Okay. 
Yeah. Why? I'm supplying Will with every scrap of his infernal power. I've paid my dues many times over. I'll lend you a hand. Okay. 